Lisa with iGreyHouse.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make gourmet carrots. Just kidding. These are fabric carrots and I'm going to be showing you how to make this today. Do, do any of y'all watch Claire Saffitz on Gourmet Makes Bon Appetit YouTube show? No, just me? Okay, anyway. For today's project, you're gonna need some fabric, and you can use any kind of fabric, really. It doesn't have to be orange. It could be teal, it could be purple, it could be gray, it could be any colors that you want. And you're gonna need some something for the greenery. So you can use yarn, you can use ribbon, you can use, um, this is like for the carrot top. I'm using onion grass that I got at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And you're gonna need a hot glue gun, you're gonna need some scissors and you're gonna need something to stuff the carrots with and loudly making noise now. Um, remember when we made the pom-pom tutorials the other, the other day? I saved all the leftover yarn. So that's what I'm gonna be using to stuff my carrots with today. All right, y'all, let's get started. What you're going to need to do is take a square of fabric, fold it in half, doesn't have to be super perfect, and I'm using this cutting mat here just to protect the surface, but you can use scissors, and I'll show you how to do that on the next one that I make. And I don't like my carrots too pointy at the end because I, feel, I just feel like it's hard to stuff. So I'm just gonna run my fabric cutters like that. Oh, see, it didn't even cut all the way through, darn it. And there you go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prep the other one again, taking a square, oh, I have enough for two. I don't wanna make two. I'm just gonna cut a smaller carrot and use my scissors and just cut up to the corner. So we'll make a smaller carrot. Now that you have your triangle piece cut out, what we're gonna do next is glue down the edge. And like I said before, I don't really like it too pointy down here because I find it hard to stuff, but your mileage may vary. You might have a better way of stuffing than I do. Also, you can use any type of fabric you want. You could use canvas or burlap, any color fabric you want, just to make it unique to your decor and how you like it. So I'm gonna put a bead of glue and I'm just gonna go along the edge. I want a reasonable amount of glue because I don't want the stuffing or it to, I don't want it to come apart either. So I'm trying to put enough glue that it'll stick, but not so much that I'm wasting a ton on this project. Then simply fold it over and press down carefully because the glue is hot. Trust me. I burnt myself a couple times already. Like just then. <laughs> and I'm gonna let that set up a little bit and dry. And now I'm gonna do this one. And again, just a big enough bead of glue that it's gonna secure it well, but not so much that I'm just like wasting it. And then again, folding the fabric over very carefully and then pressing down. Ooh, and that was hot. <laughs> now that these are cool enough to handle, we're gonna work on stuffing. And again, you can use anything that you want to stuff. Today I'm gonna be using the leftover yarn from the pom-pom tutorial that I did. You can also use a, like a plastic bag you can use, of course, polyfill stuffing or stuffing from an old pillow. On the smaller orange one, just gonna kind of pop it open a little bit. I'm not tugging too hard, because I'm not trying to tear it apart, but then you're just gonna start putting your stuffing in. Getting it down to the, the very bottom, that's the tricky part. So I'm just putting a little bit in at a time and trying to work it down um, to the corner. I've seen people use So you've got your carrot open and 
you're just going to start stuffing whatever you're using for stuffing into the carrot and trying to get it down as far as possible into that little corner section as possible it's it's not easy i've seen people use like wooden spoons my wooden spoons don't have that handle on there to do that and the scissors the last time i tried the scissors they punched through oh what if i use my apple pen maybe that'll work Trying to be careful, not trying to cut open the stuffing. And you can make it as full or as loose as you'd like. I want them a little stuffed, but not like crazy stuffed. Now I have it mostly stuffed and probably should have cut this beforehand, but we're gonna cut it now. So see how it's not like straight across. You can either tuck this in, which I mean, you could do that, but I just cut it across. And then I just shove that down in there too. One thing that I forgot to mention as far as something you would need is like either twine or ribbon or something to kind of tie this up. I like the tied up at the top look. You may not. It's up to you. So I'm going to take the twine that I'm using and I'm going to put it kind of close to the top like this. I'm going to wrap around and start to pull it in. But I'm not going to pull it super tight because I want to put in that greenery first. I'm using onion grass today. Like I said earlier, you could use, you could just make it out of twine if you wanted to. But I'm going to cut off some of these and pop these in there. These are so long that I use one and I make about, I don't know, two or three out of it. Because I just don't cut them that I don't need that long. Also, my cats really like playing with them. So I'm gonna tuck that in here. And as you can see, some of the stuffing's trying to come out. We're just gonna push it back down in there, tuck it in there. And then, now we're gonna do it really tight and then make a bow. And there you go, a nice cute little carrot. So for the other one, I'm gonna try to stuff it with this plastic bag. So I'm gonna kind of cut the plastic bag up a little bit. So I don't know that I'm gonna need all of it, but we'll see what fits. It's a great way to reuse those plastic bags that I'm sure everybody has on hand. That's got it pretty stuffed. Maybe just a little bit more. So I trimmed off the excess, I'm grabbing some more twine. And again, just making a little, tying a little knot, stuffing this stuff, stuffing, stuffing the stuffing back inside and grabbing the rest of my little onion grass. Like I said, I got this from Dollar Tree. Super inexpensive. I don't need all of it. So again, just cutting off and using what I needed. Stuffing this down in there. And there you have it, another carrot. Thank y'all so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed this fun and easy no sew fabric carrot tutorial. And if you try it at home, please leave me a comment and let me know how yours turned out. If you have another idea for a tutorial that I should do on this channel, leave me that in the comments below as well. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!